What's going on folks, this is Jagos, and for the most part, this is about Anita Sarkeesian. It's just a quick overview so that if anybody new is coming to the channel, they can see that I've had plenty to say on her. I'm really not going to say anything brand new now. For the most part, she basically rehashed her old trope series, Damsels in Distress, Bechdel Test, Women in Refrigerators. She changed the order. It's the same damn argument that she had in Damsel 1, which she stole from Women in Refrigerators 1. She's still blatantly using YouTube footage. She still doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Um, one of the interesting things that did happen is that Movie Bob is saying that he disagrees with her partially. But one of the things that I have an issue with is the fact that she's bringing up sex workers. The problem is she calls them prostitutes and for the most part she's slut shaming. Now this is one thing that a lot of people have been calling her out on but for me as someone who actually pays attention to what's going on with sex workers, the content, the context of her video has come at a very very dangerous time. A lot of sex workers are concerned about this bill that's going on in, I believe in Canada that's called bill number six. C36. Now that one is basically taking works um, labor, labor rights away from sex workers and that's something that's coming in at a bone of contention. And I think that this is really really going to be a tempest in a teapot moment because you may have a lot of sex workers that are against the anti-sex feminists such as Anita Sarkeesian, Gail Dines and others. So this one is basically not going to blow over. I think this is an instigator of the feminist um, wars. And for the most part, besides that, as I said, it's down to one all over again. You really don't have to pay attention to the video. I don't think this one is even aimed at us. It's actually aimed at other feminists. And the reason that I make that claim and that make that statement is because she slut shames in this. She calls them prostitutes. And I'm going to have a, a link in the underbar that shows you that calling people prostitutes when they're sex workers or escorts or anything else, that's a form of slut shaming. And that's a, that's a community that I'm, I'm kind of on the outside of and paying attention to it, responding to it, and seeing what's going on with it. So besides that... I mean, all of the old problems in Damsel 1 that have been talked about to death, they came back in um, this one, and they just came back with a force. So I'm really not paying attention to it, other than to sit here and tell you it's the same crap, it's a, on a different day. Same shit, different day. Um, all of the problems with her integrity, still intact. She actually now uses a lot of Triox's arguments to substantiate her own so basically what this was was a way for her to collect the critics to research and then use that for the rest of her series and I think that's what she's going to be doing because there's hints of other parts of her series in this one to the point that she's already talked about everything that she's already wanted to do she just hasn't made the video quite yet and for the most part I mean if you look at how she's acting I haven't um, I'm actually looking at the um, transcript because I don't even want to give her a page view but she just looks tired and for the most part I mean she said all this crazy crap about Nintendo Nintendo just basically blew all the gamers out of the water with E3 and the ones on the outs are Sony and Microsoft so all of that was for nothing it hasn't really done anything and Anita still looks stupid and like a moron and everything else yes I'm gonna call her that and I stand by it because I've already sat here and I've already taken down her arguments along with other people and I'm not gonna go through that crap again I'm not really here to sit here and be interested in damsel one two three four and everything else so take that as you will now other parts that I have arguing um, there is a difference between feminists and sex workers and that is something that I believe that if she had gotten a sex worker onto onto her um, series to talk about sex work and maybe see what kind of connections there may be between GTA 5 and everything else 
would have done done great. What probably happened and what I think she why she did this is that Carolyn Pettit um, trolled the community by giving GTA 5 a 9.5 for bullshit reasons. I don't think she has to give it a perfect score, but to sit here and talk about misogyny in a video game when the fact of the matter is you're ignoring how in GTA 5 there is a male NPC that is tortured and, and killed by Trevor, I mean, you're not being honest about the review. And I think a lot of people were upset with that, and some of them came out with bigotry against Carolyn Pettit, and that got merged into the entire gaming community, like always. So, those are the arguments that I have against Anita. There's the problem with femmes and sex workers. There's um, her old BS, and she's rehashing her old tropes. And for the most part, I mean, take it as you will. This is Anita Sarkeesian. She's trying to troll anybody. Don't give her the attention. She is a feminist troll at this point. She's not really here to make games better. She's just, you know, conning everybody, trying to obtain her legal commitments. And it's been two years. It's been two, six months since her last video. She should be pu pumping these out and trying to be a little bit more committal. But she's not. And she just wanted money. And that's it. And she has my pity. And but, you know, I'm not going to feel sorry for the people that actually gave her money. And she basically deceived them. I'm, I've tried to talk to some of them. Some of them haven't really talked. And for the most part, what can you do? If they don't want to talk about the subject and they just want to sit here and believe Anita no matter what, that's on them. So, honestly, that's all I got to say, and I'll see you all next time.